In this video, we will look at the three main types of Forex market analysis. They include technical, fundamental, and sentimental analysis. 1. Technical analysis. Technical analysis is the framework in which traders study price movement. The theory is that a person can look at historical price movements and determine the current trading conditions. As in this example displayed here, a technical analyst will look for key areas of support and resistance and determine the appropriate price direction and trade accordingly. In this case, the trader will buy. The main evidence for using technical analysis is that, theoretically, all current market information is reflected in the price. Technical traders generally ascribe to the belief that it is all in the charts. This simply means that all known fundamental information is priced into the current market price. Technical analysts look for similar patterns that have formed in the past and will form trade ideas, believing that price could possibly act the same way that it did before. In the world of trading, when someone says technical analysis, the first thing that comes to mind is a chart. Technical analysts use charts because they are the easiest way to visualize historical data. You can look at past data to help you spot trends and patterns which could help you find some great trading opportunities. What's more is that with all the traders who rely on technical analysis out there, these price patterns and indicator signals tend to become self-fulfilling. Just because Michelangelo, Donatello, Leonardo, and Raphael are looking at the same exact chart or indicators does not mean that they will come up with the same idea of where price may be headed. The important thing is that you understand the concepts under technical analysis so you won't get nosebleeds whenever somebody starts talking about Fibonacci, Bollinger Bands, or pivot points. Now we know you're thinking to yourself, Geez, these guys are smart. They use crazy words like Fibonacci and Bollinger. I can never learn this stuff. Don't worry yourself too much cuz that is not the case. Just stay tuned and you will learn them all at the right time. 2. Fundamental Analysis Whereas technical analysis involves poring over charts to identify patterns or trends, fundamental analysis involves poring over economic data reports and news headlines. Fundamental analysis is a way of looking at the forex market by analyzing economic, social, and political forces that may affect currency prices. You have to understand the reasons why and how certain events like an increase in the unemployment rate affect a country's economy and monetary policy which ultimately affects the level of demand for its currency. The idea behind this type of analysis is that if a country's current or future economic outlook is good, its currency should strengthen. The better shape a country's economy is, the more foreign businesses and investors will invest in that country. This results in the need to purchase that country's currency to obtain those assets. In a nutshell, this is what fundamental analysis is. 3. Sentimental Analysis Sentiment analysis is used to gauge how other traders feel, whether it's about the overall currency market or about a particular currency pair. The forex markets do not simply reflect all of the information out there because traders will all just act the same way. Of course, that isn't how things work. This is why sentiment analysis is important. Each trader has his or her own opinion of why the market is acting the way it does and whether to trade in the same direction of the market or against it. Each trader's thoughts and opinions, which are expressed through whatever position they take, helps form the overall sentiment of the market regardless of what information is out there. The problem is that as retail traders, no matter how strongly you feel about a certain trade, you can't move the forex markets in your favor. Even if you truly believe that the dollar is going to go up, but everyone else is bearish on it, there's nothing much you can do about it, unless you're one of the GSs, George Soros or Goldman Sachs. As a trader, you have to take all this into consideration.
You need to perform sentiment analysis. Thank you for tuning in till the end. Subscribe so that you can be notified and updated upon the next video release. Bye bye and nice trades till then.